literally 27 degrees outside today. It is very cold. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm currently in Hillsboro right now because it's winter break. Um, today we're going back to Hag Lake with Ben. Um, that is a place where we went fishing a few months ago, if you remember that video. So yeah, we're going to run up and down. What is it? Uh, it's the Stimson Trail, so it's like, it goes for probably like 50 miles, but we're just going to go uh, 11 miles a day. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really cold, but oh well. Yep. And the coldest weather, really, like, it's never 27 degrees here except for today, so... We're gonna do this. These hills are killing me up here. The other guys are like way ahead. Gosh, I have not ran up hills in quite some time. Oh. A little burn power right there. So pretty. Gosh. You can see them up there. Almost. Close in, guys. Almost there. But yeah, dude. I know I'm going pretty hard because my watch says I'm in the 180s, which really is like 150s or something. But I'm going to. I'm almost going to race effort. Just a little off shape on these hills, but it's good for the mind. Good for the legs. When I finished, no matter what it takes. So we're halfway up the mountain. That's a good sign. My gosh, a lot of burn piles over here. Just keep moving, one step at a time. One breath. I'll make it. Just a mile and a half left to go up this hill. You know, I've been thinking one of the most valuable things that Ernie has taught me is to not give up. Um, there have been times in this past week even just certain things where it's like I just want to quit so bad. It's like, I'm done with this. What's the point? Why should I keep going? And, you know, it's so easy. It's the easiest thing to do is to quit. Just stop doing something. But, you know, I realize I'm a distance runner and that means I don't, I don't quit and you know, even when everything in me says I should quit, when my body says stop, if I really want it, I shouldn't stop, you know. I just gotta keep going one step at a time, one breath at a time. Just keep moving those feet, pumping that heart. And eventually, you know, who knows, I might die on this trail. But at least I didn't give up. When you're on your deathbed, I don't want you to be like, what, I, what could I have been? What if, just what if? I 
which tried to follow that dream, to chase it, to go after something I'm passionate about. No. By the time you're dead, I don't want there to be any what is left in your life. I just wanted it to be, I gave him my best shot, and even if it didn't work out, I still had fun doing it. I think that's the most important thing we could take away from life. You know, I was running at Cooper Mount the other day. It's this huge kind of mountain trail and near Beaverton, Naloa. And I want to give up so bad, you know. I was just by myself. The hills were so steep. I was just burning for more than half a mile. It's uphill. And after the first time, I went to quit so bad. But then Ben was there. And Ben was getting the second loop. Like, there's no freaking way I'm going to go wait in the car. But from the finish. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to do that second loop. No matter what it takes. And I think... You know, there's a race in cross country where I didn't race because I was upset on me. But now I'll look back at it with regret. Of, you know, I should totally push through that day. But it's alright because me quitting that day made me not quit yesterday. Cooper Mountain was definitely a lot tougher of a task to do. So if anything you get from this video, I don't care what the reason is, just please don't quit. Okay? Go until you have to stop. Alright? The Marines say you're 20 times more capable. You're capable of achieving 20 times more than you think you are. Just keep pushing. Keep moving. Always. If you get knocked down, stand up again and keep going. All right, how did that feel? It was good. Uh, it was like all uphill the first way, but downhill the second way, so it was not bad. Yeah. It was definitely a run, for sure. It was a run. How'd you feel, Thomas? Uh, I feel pretty good. I mean, I felt like shit on the way up. Yeah. I feel good now. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit tiring. Just a little bit. We're in a lake road bridge. Look at that. Glad well, that's over. Um, I have to come back someday though and do that better. Yeah, when we uh, go for our longer run, we'll come back. Yeah. I, that, that'd be a good 20 miles, of course. Yeah. 12 miles. That first mile was the worst mile I've ever ran in my life. The first mile? Oh. That first mile Because it's so steep up there. Well, well that's so cold. steep. Uh, it's cold. The first two miles went by so fast for me. Dude, that last five just went by. Yeah. Yeah, the last five way was quick too. There's no effort. Basically. Yeah. Man. <sighs> okay, we're back now. After a 10 mile run, uh, 1700 feet of elevation gain. Um, definitely one of the hardest runs of my life definitely top five top ten um just man those hills have been yeah not nice um yeah for me it was it was a it's a pretty good long run i mean i like that trail for sure um i'll definitely be going back there once i get to uh the higher like longer runs uh throughout my marathon training 
but I'm gonna go have a bear claw now <laughs> and take a shower because I'm, I'm a little tired, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man. I mean, all we had was like peanut butter toast for breakfast. Um, yeah, you can't have too much in the stomach. Bit of water and just really tired right now. But as I said earlier, it's all worth it for the mind. It's worth it for the legs. It's worth it to suffer sometimes and get out of your comfort zone and run a really hard run to really brings you back down to earth and makes you appreciate I uh, guess what you have um yeah and I know yeah. I know uh not all of us wanted to go because it was it was like 24 degrees out when we uh when we got to the car but you know uh after a couple miles we warmed up and it was really fun so mm -hmm. yeah that's yeah definitely gonna come back someday and gonna run this a lot faster than today it hurts to walk right now um so I think that's a good sign that we need to stretch and massage gun and we're gonna do that. All right guys, so now we're gonna stretch. I gotta log in what I did from uh, my marathon training plan. I was supposed to do 10 miles today, but I really did 11 miles. And I'm just gonna update if I felt any pain or if I went slow. Um, and then we're gonna stretch and have our Saturday morning bear claws. Let's get to it. 